Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing some sketchbook toys. So let's begin with this one. I used Copic markers for this book. Um, the first page just has a little silly poem I wrote saying, I live for the tag, I die for the dag, and a drawing a day <laughs> keeps boredom away. Yep. <laughs> and here we have an eye drawing, classic eye. Um, and then I did a series of um, singers that I thought either looked cool or I actually liked their lyrics. So here's Billy with some lyrics from Ocean Eyes. And then this is um, a singer from that TV show, The Floor, I think. Um, and this is Javaya. Do you have? Yeah, I don't know how to say your name. <laughs> and then here's Enya. Um, she's my favorite artist and. Caribbean Blue is my favourite song. But I um, wrote the lyrics to May It Be in that one. Here is Lana Del Rey. I think it looks more like Adele or some other singer, but it is Lana Del Rey. Um, here's Amy Lee from Evanescence. She was pretty fun to draw. And then we come up to um, my old Hollywood series, and I began that with Audrey Hepburn, of course. <laughs> then we have Vivian Lee. I should put um, some iconic quotes below as well. Um, Elizabeth Taylor. Natalie Wood. Marilyn, Lauren Bacall, Grace Kelly, and of course, Judy Garland. Um, I was going to go on to do um, some of the um, 90s supermodels next, but I haven't got up to that yet, so a lot of this book left to go. <laughs> Finished my dragon series, and so now I wanted to... Wow, atmospheric lighting. <laughs> so now I wanted to... Um, do a quick sketchbook tour. I've only illustrated maybe five pages but they're very detailed and I just wanted to share what I've made so far. Um, they're all, they're mostly either Copic markers or coloured pencils that I've used for these drawings. Sorry I'm clumsy. <laughs> this one is just says sketchbook 2020 illustrations and patterns. I just quickly did that today. It probably took 10 minutes or less. I'm so bad at estimating time, but I don't really like it. <laughs> we start with the iconic Captain Jack Sparrow. I've done a portrait of him um, for the last three years now, and I've been trying to improve, but I think I actually peaked last year, and now my style's come downhill again. So that was a bit upsetting, but I mean, I still like this one. It's just the one I did when I was, actually no, I did it two years ago. The one I did when I was 17 was far better. Um, this is a landscape of um, this place I volunteer at called Montsalvat. It's my favorite place in the world. It's lovely and rustic and uh, it's, it's very um, otherworldly. It feels like I'm in Narnia every time I visit there. I love that place. And this is another um, scene from Monsel That. The previous drawing was of the um, where the artists stay because it's like an artist colony. But here we have the Great Hall. The inside of here is amazing. Um, I love this place. <laughs> and we have a view of, I think, where the family can't pronounce their name because they were Dutch, but this is where they used to live. 
it's filled with um secret attic attic ways and I actually watched a kookaburra come from that tree into like a little hole in the cobblestone and um, nibble something so very delightful <laughs> here are some studies of sculptures um, yeah I just copied them down in grey lead because I'm trying to get better at figure drawing but it's my weakness um, and then here's the dragon I think I showed this in a previous video um, try to get it in more detail I like him. I should give him a name. This colourful one. This one took far longer to draw than any of the other drawings, I think, because I was using pencil and there were so many colour changes. And I don't like how it turned out, so sometimes it's not worth it, guys. <laughs> and I finished this one today. And I used Copic marker to do the background because I didn't want to waste my black um, colour pencil. But colour pencils are the most important, guys. <laughs> I don't know if it's even picking up the detail, but I did a lot of... Um, a lot of textural aspects and scales to the form. And here's the waterfall drawing I did the other day. Yep. Followed by the strangler tree, which I really don't like and I think I'm going to rip it out. I hate this drawing. And it didn't take up the whole page because I thought I wasn't into it anyway. I was doing this as a favour for someone. <laughs> so very half-hearted. And this is a baby. That looks really creepy. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> the hands are very bad. Everything is bad. I did it to try to do an illustration. Um... Yes, we don't speak of these things. Oh, and then here is a pen drawing I did, which I forgot. I started this today as well. Um, it's for a competition about cybersecurity or something boring. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's going to be a laptop. And then these are going to be like messages and alerts and saying she's been hacked and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I don't like that much either. But... That's this book so far, so thanks for watching. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed my sketchbooks. See you in the next video.